All right, geez, there's one more exclusive monster that we're about to talk about right now. Jamie, why don't you tell people what's in front of us, this weird egg that isn't me? <laughs> this is <laughs> this is the Kuliyaku. Kuliyaku, more like Kuliyas. Let's have a look inside, shall we? It's not just the Kuliyaku, because this is where the other exclusives from the Kickstarter campaign... Oh, sick. Okay, cool. ...we start as well. So, Whoa, there's a lot of hunters in here. Yes, yeah, so these are a lot of alternate sculpts. Oh, oh, so what we have is stuff. the Kuliyaku monster to start off with. Oh, look at him. He's hold, he holds his little rock. He's so happy, <laughs> smiling. And then we have uh, hunters that are kind of in starting gear. Yep. Um, so this is what you sort of begin the game with instead. That's, I love the idea of that. For the real roleplay element, you can have yeah. these alternate sculpts and then you upgrade them into the more sort of crazy armoured and more outlandish weaponry that you see in the other sculpts that you exactly, guys have done. Yeah. And then we have the, um, I think these are, these are the gender swapped. Um, hunters, so you Oh, have amazing. Again, that's so cool. Like a female greatsword hunter, male sword and shield hunter. Yeah. Uh, and then this was a male bow hunter. Yeah. Again, great sculpts on these. A bit of jewel blades over here as well. And then some extra little bits and pieces. So we okay. mentioned palicos earlier. Yes, yes, yes. So these are the palico minis. So these are basically your token upgrade. So when you're playing with your palicos in your core box, instead of having a token, you actually have a Palico miniature. I'm so happy with these, man. These are so cute. I feel like if nothing else, people will probably buy these just to own tiny Palico miniatures. I love that they're sort of they're armed and armoured in the miniature monster weapon as well. I yeah, think like I one's like Raffalo a Palico in Raff Raffalos armour and so, the sword. Oh, do we have the um, the boneheaded one that was uh, here? Are they all? There he is. Yeah. Hey, we were saying that he was so frightening before, but now look at him. <laughs> Wow, this is so cute. And then also, a poogie. Oh, what? <laughs> oh my god, look at that. So this miniature actually like has, doesn't technically have any rules. Um, does it need it? it this, when it's this cute, does it need any actual rules? We did a little bit of a nod to the fans on this one because there's, there's a, 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 a sort of a myth amongst the video game players that if you go and pet the poogie, then you actually get like a a reward of course or yeah, you yeah. get like a extra you know look for what you, you get off the car with the monster and so you have an option here on downtime activities pet the poogie some believe this brings you luck others believe this is a myth so basically you there's no gameplay element whatsoever but you can do it yes. so you heard it here first you can pet the poogie yeah and you have a down to world and you have a poogie to pet <laughs> amazing <Yeah. laughs> i feel like it would um if nothing else kind of calm down very stressful situations yes like for example when the rathalos is charging down towards you you could just be like <laughs> the poogie protect me yeah, exactly absolutely fantastic okay and then what's all this so so these are the um so extra cards when you play against Kuliaku. So just like yep, a regular okay. monster, you have weapons that you can craft from taking the monster out. Ah, cool. And armor as well. So we were talking actually a little bit, I think it's off camera, about the different abilities that the armor gives you. Yeah. So this is the Kuliaku armor this does. Which has critical eye. When you draw damage one card. damage card, you draw plus one damage card and then choose one damage card to place on top of your damage deck before inflicting damage to the monster. So you basically get to do extra pips as you go through there. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. You can kind of choose which damage cards you're going to draw next. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very cool. Yeah, and then some obviously the attack cards that go with those extra weapons and the event uh, time cards for when you hunt down the Kuliaku because you have, like with every other monster, you've got your gathering phase adventures. Yep. And your um, uh, arena quests for wild ah, fights as well. So just like every other monster in the game, you can do the same stuff with Kuliaku. I love this. It's just such an iconic enemy, isn't it, really? <laughs> just so beautiful. And the fact that you get all of these amazing sculpts and the same thing. I, I can see so many people getting these exclusives because of the fact that they mm -hmm. just want to have these alternate sculpts. It helps with the role play element of these yeah. games. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Just to make sure it could all fit in the box properly as well. This is one. Of, this is the only box thing that comes with a, a Ziploc bag, and that's okay. because the, the 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 vac tray doesn't quite let you sit the cards just inside it. There's, you're not oh, okay. Protection. I see. To make sure your cards are properly protected, you just make sure you got that bag as well to put them back afterwards. Lovely stuff. So if you wanted even yet more monsters to fight and more amazing sculpts to do it with, this is the box for you. But unfortunately, I have to put it back because there is still one more secret to one show more. you. One more. Just the one. Don't get greedy now. 